Let's go on. Hey there, folks. So, today, what I'm going to do is I have this thing here. The Software Toolworks CD-ROM Challenge Pack. It's a big, fat, big box. And it has, it's basically what I call shovelware. It has like a bunch of, like, they made, this came out like in 1993. Or, yeah, 1993, I think. So CD-ROMs are pretty new. What they did is they just took a whole bunch of DOS games and just stuck them on the CD. And they didn't enhance them in any way. And they're like, okay, well... We're going to give you a great value because you get all these games for this one low, low price. I don't know what they sold it for. I'm guessing it was probably like 80 bucks or something like that. Um, but the games are Robocop 3D, F-29 Retaliator, let's see it here, Paperboy 2, Epic, The Chess Master 2100, Degeneration, Pushover, Might of Magic 2, and Contraption Zack. That's nine games. I never played any of these games, actually. So it's too bad we don't have, like, uh, Anatoly from DOS Nostalgia here. He can probably tell us which ones are good and which ones are not. What I figured I would do for this stream is really just try to um, sample these games. By the way, it comes with a big... Uh, where did it go? I dropped it on the floor. A big, fat manual, too, which I'm going to try not to look at for the most part. I don't see how much, what I can do without actually looking at the manual. Unless there's copy protection I need to do here. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Matt says, not a bad selection of games. It's not a terrible selection, um, like I said, I never played any of these games though, so we'll see. Uh, but I think what I'm going to try to do is like play each game for around 10 minutes just to get a feel of it. And, you know, maybe a little bit longer if it's really good, but nine, nine games at 10 minutes each is maybe an hour and a half. That'll be a decent, a decent size stream, but let's see how they go. And we'll go from there. Uh, look at this. I got this thing here running CD games. So just in the order here, I'll just take RoboCop 3D first. And apparently this is one of the most complicated games. I did skim through the manual it sounds like there's a lot of different things inside it, but let me put my headphones on so I can actually hear. Hold on. Matt says a lot of these games you played on a C64 rather than PC. Okay. Say so, so R Robo 3 should do it. <laughs> Hard to sample my Magic 2 in 10 minutes. I know, that's true. I'll do my Magic 2 last, but you're not gonna be able to play we're not gonna play my Magic. Even if I play for 10 hours, not gonna be able to get the, the flavor of the game completely. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay, RoboCop security check. Please enter a number on page three, row one, column one. Page three, row one, column one. Eight thirty-four. Oh, nice music there. Ocean software. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Digital image design. <laughs> you couldn't get that word cl too cl like closer to the edge of the of the frame there. All right. Well, I'm not sure if we'll count this this the credits here in the uh, in the ten minutes, but <laughs> I have to think about that. But I don't want to skip the credits. You know, maybe we'll miss something important. And also, I don't know if I skip, like, I've never played this before, so I don't know, like, if I press a button, will I skip, like, something important? RoboCop 3. Alright, so we definitely want Eng English. Ooh, movie or arcade action? This was saying, this game is pretty complicated. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? How you doing? Right, I'll try F1 Movie Adventure first. Maybe we'll try the arcade action afterwards. And by the way, everyone saw the film RoboCop 3. I saw RoboCop 1 and most of RoboCop 2. I never saw RoboCop 3. Is there a movie RoboCop 3? I think there is. Delta City, the future has a silver lining. It's not going to be any speech. This is a disc game they put on a CD. Give us 22 minutes. Look at me the world. Top story tonight. Motor City goes Japanese. Is DCP announced today? Their takeover by the Japanese multinational Kanemitsu Corporation. Citizens in Old Detroit claim construction of Delta City is cre creating a new class of homeless. And a new class... I just did the, the, uh, the, the newscaster voice. Vicious gangs calling themselves Splatterpunks are turning the neighborhood into a war zone. I don't know what... But once again, DCP has the answer. Why do they always talk in the same stupid way? Meet the rehabs. State-of-the-art urban pacification. 
We're professionals. Here to help the people. Go by really fast. <laughs> what is your point? I, sl I gotta slow this down, maybe. Hold on a second. I'm slowing it down a little bit. I don't know if it's making a difference. We just help with the minute transition, that's all. What about the reports of a rebel resistance force of people fighting to save their homes and families? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Those faces are horrifying. Oh, Ryan says it was straight to video. Awful, awful. <laughs> Listen, stupid, I don't think more to say. That's a nice guy. That's why you end every every news interview saying, Listen, stupid, I don't think more to say. Just repeat supported a break into the police armory. <laughs> okay. I split out of two. Uh oh, an ED 209 unit has gone berserk. I don't know why anybody would think it's a good idea to create like a machine that has guns and like shoots people. It just seems like that's a bad idea waiting to happen. I mean, like, especially you had Robocop 1, Robocop 2, like. By the time Robocop 3 comes around, if some guy wants to create, like, a machine like this, you'd think, like, everybody would just jump on him and, like, beat him to death. <laughs> Ryan says, these faces are terrible. This is not bad. Crime in progress. Officer loose in pursuit. Robocop is her backup. This is, a, this is not even a game so far. It's just, like, a big cutscene. I wonder if there's going to be a game here. If it's actually an adventure mode in this game, I, I might buy it. That's pretty bad 3D graphics. Look at that car. <laughs> okay, Robocop 3. We said that before. Driving? Now it's just driving on the top. It's loading an arcade sequence or something. Oh, so I see. It's maybe, it's probably just like a bunch of mini games. And it loads them. T like that, that, that like a video montage stitches them together. May I just speed this up again now? Pursuit of a stolen vehicle. Stop it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going backwards. What, what's going on here? What the hell? I just, like, flew backwards down the... What was that? What the... Officer Lewis needs immediate assist... Yeah, well... How do you control this damn thing? Uh... What the hell? Uh... Let's take it. It's a really great car. Blah, blah, blah. Please, please. How do you control the goddamn thing? Oh, here we go. Keyboard. Alt. Increase speed. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Wait, whoa, 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 Stop! Where am I going? Am I still going backwards? I don't... Where the hell am I going? I, I can't read the chat while I'm doing this, by the way. Like, this is like... I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Officer Lewis needs immediate assistance. This is... This is... <laughs> Come on! Get on the road! Current position, Esposito and Chalmers Boulevard. I don't have, like, a map. There's a car. I'm... Oh, my God. I'm Robocop, for God's sakes. I gotta be driving a freaking, like, car? Help! Where am I going? <laughs> oh, come on. This is ridiculous. It's not even, like, a... Where's, like, the Grand Theft Auto-style heads-up display tell me where to go? Oh, man. I'm just going to circle. Stop, stop, stop. All right, I stopped. Where the hell am I going? Is there a map in here or something? What are you guys saying here? Blah, 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 blah. There's a ninja in part three. Tom Brokaw and Vladimir repeated a misshapen baby. Robocop 3 restarted. If he's flying, why do I have to drive a car? This game is an early FPS. All of a sudden, I'm playing Cybercode 2077. Graphics are barely expecting. Yeah, the graphics are not better than I was expecting. I don't know what the hell to do here. It's almost as bad as Test Drive 3. <laughs> uh, this is going to be over pretty fast. I, we're almost at 10 minutes for this game. Uh, hold on. There's also close quarter fighting in this. Is there, there's flying, it says. If I could survive long enough to get there. Oh, wait, is there a heads-up display or something? Uh, flying. Hints. Views. Oh my god, I'm, I'm trying if I'm getting everybody sick here. I'm just like, I'm like literally driving in a circle without my hand on the wheel. How could this, how could a car drive in a circle like this without like any... <laughs> you know, I see folks are horrible drivers. Oh, okay, there's a map. In the, in, the, in the manual, there's a map. So she keeps saying we should the corner of something in Chalmers. I don't know where the hell's to go. Uh, like, I only see part of the map in my GPS or whatever the hell that is. Is there an autopilot? Uh, RoboVision? What's RoboVision? Front full screen. 
Esposito and Char that doesn't do anything. Esposito and Chalmers Boulevard. This the, the map doesn't show you like. I wonder if like the real game is supposed to be a map that comes with it, and this game doesn't give you anything. It just tells you like, hey moron, like screw you, try to figure it out yourself. I have no idea. Let me. Tr I'll try to drive around for a minute and see if I can get anywhere. If not, then then we'll just give up on this game. See if I can even stay on the road. That'll be an accomplishment. <laughs> New York City folks are horrible drivers. At this point, it's pretty safe to say Officer Lewis is screwed. It should be a five-hour stream. Screw these point and clicks. <laughs> well, like, Ryan, if I was actually playing RoboCop 3 and that was the stream, I would play for five hours, but this is supposed to be CD-ROM challenge packs, nine different games. So if I actually, I'm, this, I'm simulating actually buying this back in the day. Oh wait, I see something on, there's something on the display there. I'm going the wrong way for it. Hold on, hold on, wait a second. There's a white dot there. Maybe the white dot is supposed to be Officer Chalmers. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Where am I going here? No, no, you're going the wrong way. Go the other way. Oh my god. No, no, he's still going the wrong Wait, is that me or is that them? Hold on a second. I'm stopping my car. Oh, so that green thing is them, probably, and I'm just completely going the wrong way. All right, all right, here, I got the idea here. All right, hold on, hold on. This way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. The handling on this car is complete garbage. You turn you turn the, the car a little bit and it, it goes like a million miles an hour to the right. Can I just drive like in between the buildings and shit? <laughs> I'm trying to go cross country here to get catch up to this person. Whoa! Whoa, I just went through the building! <laughs> oh, there, there's somebody! It's a it's a it's a red cup thing or other. Wait, wait, hold on. This way. Esposito and Chalmers Boulevard. This way, this way. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> if I actually, like, manage to get to this person, like, it'll just be a complete miracle. Robocop does not obey the law. He just goes through buildings and stuff. He's like big rigs. I don't even know if that red thing is where I'm supposed to be going. But I'm just going there. I'm just trying to get there. <laughs> Target acquired, wreck them. I mean, I could go faster than this, probably. Officer Lewis. So let's say Officer Lewis is dead. Oh, there's, now there's a bunch of stuff on the radar, so that's probably not even the right thing I'm going to. I'm just heading towards a random red dot. Whoa. <laughs> I wanted to see what happened if I crashed into that, because <laughs> it seemed like nothing else was harming me. <laughs> I, I, I'm dead from driving into a fence? What kind of a crap police car is that? I drove into a police car and I'm dead. I drove a fence with a police car and I'm dead. That was total garbage. What are you guys saying here? <laughs> I feel to start to drive. <laughs> oh my gosh, my my 17 year old daughter started to drive. All right, this is this is the hell with this game. This is terrible. This is this is not good. Actually, you know what? Let me see what other things there are. Cause let's be skip to the uh, other sequences, right? If I can do that. No, no, not dri no more driving. No more driving. How do I get back to the main menu? Is there a way? Bidding escape. No, no she's she sending me back to driving. Oh, I'm not doing that. Hold on. No, 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 no. Control C, Control Q, Alt X, Alt Q, F1, F2, F. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> you can see me going off the road in real time. All these nice views. <laughs> How do I end this game? Uh, How do you end the damn game? Uh, Shift Q. Shift Q. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Alright. Uh, you know what? I was going to go back in and try the other mini games. But the hell with that. I mean, that was like, oh my god. Alright, let's try the next one. F29 Retaliator. <laughs> and by the way, if there's anything I'm worse at than driving games, it's it's flight games, just just, just so you know. Uh, which is F29 Retaliator? 20, is that 29? Yeah, 20. 
that. No, what, what's F twenty nine retaliator? It's not twenty one hundred. A oh, retal. Illegal command retal that bad. What a piece of garbage. Hold on. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. CD games. I can launch it from here. Oh, it doesn't work. What the hell? Reconfigure a program. Yes, it's VGA. Uh, initialize. Yes. This way it doesn't work. Oh, that's weird. Okay. There's something weird with this game. I probably have to figure need more base memory. It could be you need analog stick for this one. It's possible. Um it's possible. I probably I probably could look it up and figure out like here, hold on a second. Uh F twenty nine Retaliator Dos Bomb. See if I can get a quick fix. If not, I'll just move on to the next one. It says here this game only runs from the C retail directory. <sighs> Wonderful. Alright. So I can copy it into that directory. So that's, that's so the, basically this is broken because it installed it into a directory that doesn't work for the game. Come on. Of course, there's no retail. What am I doing? CD retail. Hmm, yeah, that'll work from here. <laughs> nope. I. Uh, You can't change the directory. Oh, does it work? Does it work? Da da da. da. Uh, all right. Well, it doesn't work. There's probably a way to get it to work, but it doesn't seem like it's worth spending the time on. I can't put DOS equals high and UMB obviously in, in DOS box. Uh, all right. Let's move on. There was a weird explosion in Nashville. What happened? I'm disappointed that didn't work, actually. But all right, let's try something else. Let's try pushover. Push. Why'd it go back to here? All right, here we go. English. English. Sound Blaster. Keyboard. Start game. Another ocean title. Apparently this is some weird game where you have to make this guy push down dominoes or something. I don't know like what this is really. Like I said, I never played it. Copyright 1982 Red Rat Software. Colin loses his quavers? So what the hell is this? This is some kind of... Like snack food or something which is for some England or something like that I never heard of this anybody ever hear of this quavers what's a quaver anybody know what this is because I don't Christmas day and RV was broadcast it's exploded 15 minutes exploded what that's crazy that's totally insane all right so I have no idea what that intro was about somebody dropped some chips or something flash animation maybe I don't know what this is what this menu means a quaver what the what the hell is quavers I let's do okay I don't know what the hell this is 
So, I'm gonna put to push this thing over. How do I control it? I think I have to get to push the dominoes over. Arrange dominoes in a run so that trigger domino falls last. You have one push. This is like domino rally. How do I actually push it? What's the controls? I have, my time's running out here. I'm pressing enter, space, control, alt, shift. None of those do anything. I tried P. This looks interesting though. Uh, left cursor plus spacebar? Right cursor plus spacebar? I was to push right and space at the same time. Okay. Oh, that didn't work though because it, did, it missed that last domino. And my time ran out too. And I can't push him again because I only had one push. I guess I have to reset the level? You failed. You have no pushes left. Replay puzzle. Alright, so can, can I just walk over here and push this one? Do I have to push all of them? I guess I lost. You failed. Not all dominoes have toppled. Can I carry dominoes around? Or something? How much how am I supposed to bridge that gap there? Anybody want to play this game? Uh, climb ladder. Climb ladder, go between blocks to push, enter door. Do I have an inventory like lemmings? I don't think so. Space bar. Oh, pick up block is space bar. But. Ah, there we go, okay. Alright. Now it becomes sort of easy. Do I have a limited amount of things I can pick up? <coughs> Alright, what does this have to do with the, with the, with the crisps and whatever else from before? Alright, so now what? You failed? Is the door obstructed? What is it? What? Why did I fail? What? What? Did I, what? I did what it said to do. What did I do wrong? Is, it, is that a door there? I mean, I came out of that door. How come this time the door opened? Or did we open the first time too, but I didn't go into it? Is that what happened? Okay. You can do the puzzle, you get a token. Oh, geez. What the hell's going on here? Are there going to be scores? That's my score? That's my code, okay. So it's like one of those games where you can skip levels by going to the next, uh, you could type in a code or something. Like, out of this world. What's with this deal with these quavers? Oh, okay, now I just press okay to go to the next level. Okay. Now what's with this red thing? Except if, no, I don't quit. I didn't, I need to quit. F1. So the red is a stopper. So I'm assuming if I try to push that one down, it won't actually push down. Let's try it though, see what happens. Yeah, and I only, and I would lead one push, so I, I, I lost, right? You failed, you have no pushes left. You have one token, choose a token to reset to before push. What's the point of that? It's a replay puzzle. All right, so can I just move this out of the way and like switch it with something else? I mean, like, if I can move all the dominoes around, it doesn't seem too hard. Do I have to push this one, too? <laughs> you can't push this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Look at over here. There's this one you can't push. If I, now, if I just push this one and don't push that one. Oh, moron. Oh, my God. It's hard to control this guy. He doesn't, like, really... Do what you think. Push! Why can't he push? Why can't I push this? I can't push either one of them. What, what the hell's going on here? Oh 
Now let me push it. Okay. Maybe because there's something else that... Let me try to move this out of the way completely. I still can't push this down. What am I doing wrong here? <coughs> are temples open in my area? They are open, but I'm not really going. Every year we do a Jewish Catholic relationship they're saying New York City shut up. In New York City is a bunch of jerks, but I live in Jersey and for some Jersey's been slightly better. I'll move the red to the stripe, other side of the stripe, but okay, I'll try that. It's not letting me put it like right here for some reason. Because it's blocking the door, I guess. Why can't they push here? What? It's hard to get in position. And why is he not pushing? Did I press? Did I forget the button to press? It was space, right? Yeah, it was. Why is that not working? Uh. Yeah, space bar. Last domino reform must always be the trigger block. All their blocks, apart from the red stoppers, must be full before the trigger block. GIN can pick up any of the blocks, except for triggers, can't be moved. When you've sure you've all the blocks correctly, there's one push to succeed. Well, what's wrong with that? Can I push the stripe on? I don't. Oh. No, the stripe put us to go last. I mean, I may be able to push it, but it'll be the wrong thing to do. He's not even going into position to push that. Oh, there he is. It won't let me push it, though. Why can't I push? I'm going to reset the level. Maybe something... You failed, you've no pushes left? Maybe because I tried to push the red one before, even though it didn't do anything, maybe that counted as a push? Let's try it again. Which, if that's the case, it's really stupid. Let's try that out. <sighs> All right. You think Matt is right, but yeah, it's uh, instructions that said that you can't. The stripe wants to go down last. Oh, now we're getting more interesting here. It's like that more like Domino Rally now. What's with that weird one with the red stripe in the middle? It's a a tumbler. Let's just see what happens if I push these, like, the way it is right now. <laughs> Alright, that didn't work. I guess I just have to move this one, though. Oh, he can't move, I forgot, he can't move the, he can't move the, the, um, the, the target one. See if I put this over here, what it does. I mean, theoretically, I can move all of them down there, right? But I can't because there's only enough space for some of them. <laughs> it smashed it. That was weird. It turned into like a pile of crap. That was, that was wrong. Let's try this one more time here. And nice? It wasn't so nice. It looked like it could have been nice. Let's put it here this time. I, I can't block the door, can I? I can't put it here. <laughs> I have an idea. I mean, I need to, like, explore more of the properties of these dominoes. If I put this one at the end, it'll do something interesting. Can you move the striped one? No, I cannot move the striped one. It doesn't let me. That's my first thing I tried. I guess that's what it is. Da-da-da! 
jump can I jump like Mario? Yay! Alright, this is pretty fun. I this is an interesting game. I didn't do it fast enough? Blah, oh, what the hell? Ah, oh, alright. One more time. I mean, it's hard to do it fast enough. I guess the red means you're already out of time and you blew it. Yeah, I agree. It's not bad, Ryan. It looks pretty cool. I've seen this game on eBay. I never had any clue what it was. Oh, I gotta also hustle at the door before the time runs out, too. Why are all these goss games 16 by 9 and not 4 by 3? Um, this isn't 16 by 9. This is running right now at 1024 by 768, I believe. This is what, that was what I tried to run it at. Let's try one more, and then we'll go to a different game. And hey, Jeremy, how's it going? Uh, come on. Move it. I'll try one more level, because this, this is interesting. I, I can see getting this game and, and, and actually doing a stream just on this game. I, mean, I have the game, I guess, but I'm, I'm not going to... If I actually like the game, I'll get the real game, not this compilation. All right, what's that one with the... the looks like a, a candy down the middle. That's an ascender. Oh, interesting. That means it goes up? Oh, okay, that's cool. Let's try it. Let's see what happens if I do that. Oh, no, the other side. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, one more. That was fun. And I like how they give you a code, so next time you play, you can just start from where the code, from where they left off. So far, this is the, this is the gem of the lot, from what I can tell. I even like the music. All right, one more, the last one. Really, oh my goodness, what's this? So this, this still teach you, you got to use all the things. This one probably flies across or something. Oh, that's a tumbler. A tumbler. And a bridge. Oh, a bridger. Okay, so I need the, the bridger is probably the one I need to put there. I'm assuming he can't fly across the gap there. <laughs> that's cool. I guess now he can fly across the gap. All right, this is a this is a winner. This is a winner. See, Matt, my, you, my difference of shovelware is different than yours of shovelware. I know when you think of shovelware, you think you're like the. I have a CD over here. Hold on a second. One sec. So, th this is what you're thinking of, I think, when you say shovelware. It's like a CD like this. Or this. See, when I when I say shovelware, what I mean is that, like, they instead of taking the CD-ROM and they, like, took made the game, like, with voice or something, you actually fit the space in the CD-ROM, they just took a bunch of small stuff and threw it on there. So, not that it's bad, it's just that if they shoveled it onto the CD is, what, is why I call it shovelware. But I, I don't, I'm not saying it's a bad game. This one looks pretty good. All right, let's let's exit out of this one, though. Let's try the next game. This is this was a lot of fun. I would, I would definitely come back to this and play it again. In fact, I may go try to... Don't, like, go run... I hope it's not going to be run on eBay now before the stream is over. <laughs> exit the DOS. All right, what's next? Uh, Epic. I don't even know what this is, either. Epic. Yeah, again, Ocean. They must have had a deal with Ocean Software Toolworks. Based on, yeah, what the hell was... <laughs> Ryan, I don't get that thing with the potato chips. Are those the same company, Digital Image Design? Is it the same company as the Robocop game? The same font, too, I think. <laughs> chips for Americans, yeah. Crisp. I don't know what this is. There's no box copies out there that you saw? Oh, too bad. 
I have seen it in the past, but I always I always passed it up because I had no idea what it was. But next time I see it, I'll try to pick it up. Epic. This game is epic. I already can tell it looks bad to me. Oh, this is interesting. That was a nice graphic that flashed for like half a second. Let me slow it down. The case it's running too fast. Our son, Magidelic, was dying. A massive planetary... Whoa, come on. I'm, I slowed it down to like super slow now. Probably too slow. The 8,000 strong armada massed around the moons of pain and its escort the mighty Federation battle fleet. They don't give a chance to read it. Paul Hollywood? <laughs> what resolution? I'm running the, the DOS box at 1024 by 768, Jeremy. But the game probably is like 640 by 480 or something. So I'm going to journey again. But you're right, the resolution's probably not the right aspect ratio. I wouldn't be surprised. The Heart of Rexon Empire. If it's, if it's widescreen, it's only slightly widescreen. I have no idea what's going on here. This graphics suck, too. This reminds me a lot of the Robocop game. I think they reused the same engine or something. Uh, Legend is born. A one-man starfighter of awesome power and destructive capabilities. It's like Robocop in a ship. I think I slowed it down too much, but that's fine. It looks like a Wing Commander ripoff, as far as I can tell. Like a really serious ripoff. <laughs> I hope I can control it better than I can control the other stupid thing. Alright, I'm going to speed it up. Obviously, it's going too slow now. I was trying to read the damn text. Violation of the Neutral Zone is active war. Looks like a Commander war. Wind Cadet? Wind Cadet? What's going on here? Why is it text like so damn fast? And like, it, and like it. I'm sped it up again. It's not as fast as it was before. It's like a bird of like Robulan bird of praise and Klingon uh, bird of praise. Does anybody know what's going on here? They said like Star Wars ships now, like Y Wing fighters. Or those B Wings. Like something Y Wings. <coughs> Matt Williams changes Tennessee Williams. That's funny. Crucial any hope of ultimate success. The, oh, like, look, they have like the ship on top of the text, too. That's great programming there. Where the gargantuan battleship destroyers, Red Storm, and Battle Axe. Here, the Elite Fire Squad, the Prototype Golden Craft. Awesome fighting for us once you become a legend. See, I, you know, I think what the, the moral here is like these games are tried really hard in the graphics department. They look like crap today, and they don't look, they're probably crappy games too. They focus too much on the graphics. The other game, they focus on the gameplay, the Domino's game pushover. That was that's that's probably a great game today, also. Oh my god, I can't believe it's still going. Speeding it up some more. <laughs> now, now it's, that that cutscene took half a second. It's so inconsistent. Oh god, epic pop! Please refer to manual. But I have this deep stupid manual. Paragraph two on page eleven. Uh, is it really gonna work? Because like they they cut this up in such a weird way. What's paragraph two? Uh, I don't even know what paragraph two is. The last word. What the hell could that be? Uh, st <laughs> uh, strength. Will that fit? Strength. <laughs> no. Or maybe it's the right answer. Maybe I got it wrong. Oh, that was actually right. Okay, I guess. Hopefully. 10, 24, 16, 4 by 3, but this is this is 16 by 9. Yeah, maybe it's just uh, the way this thing is played. I mean, I don't know if it matters. Does it? I guess I can, I can uh, stretch it out. Really, some of these games, like, 
they, they let you pretend that you got in, and then like they, they made it like they made you lose or stuff like that. Let's do two. Let's do entry code. I don't know. Thank you for your cooperation, Major Stu. Your Epic Class Starfires are armed and ready for combat. You stand by for briefing. This music is terrible, by the way. Why does it keep showing the same stupid logo? Operation Breakout, digital personnel. This music is god awful. Mass Brief. What? Fleet is past that. Look at this font. Oh my god, I can't even read it. In the gods we those we're about to undertake. Who's this guy? Drink 3D glasses? Oh my god. This <laughs> dude Hammer Williamson. This the the music is so terrible. Do 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 That's the same Clear Path through Zionic Mind Belt? This is like Israel do like Israel's planet or something? So you need to Amragan 9. Destroy Deep Space tracks within 122 seconds. Are you sure that's gonna happen? I don't know how to control this. That's a great mission briefing. Primary objective is something that I'm never going to see. Timing is essential. The attack must take place with the solar eclipse of Armageddon 9. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Oh, wait a second. It's cut off on the bottom. Hold on a second. I didn't even realize that. It's cut off on the bottom, Jeremy. That's why you're not seeing the whole thing. Let me take off this picture. That's why. It's actually not 16 by 9. You just weren't seeing the whole thing. For some reason, it was cut off on the bottom. <laughs> Ryan says, this might be going in a problematic direction. Yeah, there, Jeremy, you're right. See, see what I just, I just fixed it. I mean, you're saying it should be even taller. But, uh... It's at least now showing the whole display. For some reason, it was cut off at the beginning. I didn't realize it. You can't say Gooba anymore. Maybe not. All right, are we actually at the game now. This guy's like, who? How did I get here? Look at the look on his face. He's like, oh crap! I'm about to like crap my pants. Whoa. I think I need a joystick for this, and I wasn't going to cook up a joystick just for this test stream. I didn't... What the hell was that? I pressed control to shoot, and I shot, but I think something shot me back. Look, are these the minefields? No, wait, it's not... control doesn't do anything. It's not me that was shooting. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's a mine. I think, I, I think I, like, it started me off right at this minefield. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to shoot through, I think. And then my time was running down, too. What, what, how do you control this? All right, hold on a second. That's such a great mission briefing. They told me, like, everything except for what I need to know. Uh, support status, A-okay. It's being blown up. There's a mouse controls. And there's also joystick controls. Key, keyboard controls. Uh, space is fire weapon. Well, that little that yellow, yellow pea shooter is my weapon. What a great weapon. I'm sure that this is... Oh, my God. Laser 1, 96. The, oh, my goodness. There's things that kill me. All right, I actually blew something up. That's amazing. Laser... But I don't know where I'm going. Like, is, is there, like, a, a trajectory I'm supposed to aim at here? Uh, accelerate is alt. Return. Pause game. Or pause game. That's a good idea. Uh, select fuel scoop, deflector shield up or down. Is my shield up? No, that was that was up. Now I'm putting it down. Uh, acquire target, help, plus twice escape. Enter cheat mode for refuel and weapons. All right. Well, it doesn't tell you, like, <laughs> caution time limit. Yeah, I'm running out of time. I, I, don't, know where I'm, I don't know where I'm going. Like, there's, no, there's no, like... This is so, like, first of all, now I pointed, like, I'm aiming above it or something. 
how am I supposed to know which way, which direction I'm going in? There's no, like, like, Wing Commander, you press, like, N, and there's, like, nav points and stuff. This game wants to be Wing Commander the same way Jam wants to be Marsha. Yeah, I think you're right. Um... How much is that where I'm going? 3D de detail adjust. I know that that did. Alt accelerate. Acquire target. Help. Give heading to target to mothership. PC home. Take hog 001. What the hell is hog 001? I'm running out of time too, apparently. I don't know, what, was that, is that a time, oh, that's, is that my heading on the top? The time was on the right. NME attacking. I guess NME is an enemy. So I guess the top, the top is my heading. I thought it was, the, I thought it was the time limit. The right where it says T is the time limit. But, but I have no idea where, where I'm, he, like, where I'm aiming even. Like, can I fly into that, to Saturn here? Where am I supposed to go? This game sucks. We're driving a cop's car that was straightforward. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't have any mines anymore. It looked so easy in the tutorial. Oh, fuel. Uh, I the hell with this game. Commander Stu Bioclone. Prepare to launch an emergency Cat 19. And now it's my Bioclone? <laughs> Why would you want to clone me? I can't fly a ship at all. Not that Wing Commander was, like, so straightforward, but, like, I'm, I'm looking through the manual here, and, like, if there's no information of what to do, at least I didn't see anything. <sighs> it's, like, all this information on the ships and, like, you know, all this, all this backstory, like, you know, <laughs> there's, like, uh, blueprints on the ships. Mission, oh, okay. <coughs> Mission breeding. Clear a path through the Zionic Mine Belt. Proceed directly to Abergrad 9. The tracking station is located in sector UNJ 836. It is visible for nearly 400 kilometers. But how do I get there? It says time 34 hours 30 minutes. So if it's time 34 hours 30 minutes, then why is my time running out so fast? That guy's shooting me. Look at this little pea shooter. How can I shoot my shot be just like a dot? I think I'm actually flying towards the uh, towards this planet I'm supposed to be going to, though. So I think I'm actually going the right way. Alt is accelerate. All these ships look like shuttlecrafts. Yeah, they do. But this sucks. What was that? Actually blew something up. Maybe I'm headed in the right direction now. Maybe it just starts you in the right direction. It just assumes you're going to fly in the right direction if you're not a dumbass. And that's why, like... That's why, like, I before I just ended up flying in circles because I thought I was actually aiming at something. I think I flew through the minefield. But I'm at, I look like I'm getting closer to that planet. I'm, I'm holding down the gas. Haber, continue the mission. I'm trying to continue the mission. How do I continue the mission? Am I going the wrong way? Take Hog 178. Oh, now he's... Now, oh, my God. Now I'm, like, spinning, and now I'm, like, lost again. See, like, what you... Oh, my God. All right, the hell with this. This game sucks. This game is terrible. How do I exit this? How do I kill this game? No, I'm not playing this again. Alt is to accelerate. Escape. Okay, escape just... When you press escape, it just puts you right back in as your clone. Just, okay, now I'm finally dead. It, yay. Yay, I'm dead. K kill me. Turn the game off. Turn the game off. No, I'm not doing this again. Ugh, how do you exit this stupid garbage game? Maybe this game is good, but... It, it didn't do a good enough job of, like, pulling me into it. It's, all these stupid cutscenes and, like, the actual game is terrible, from my perspective, at least. I don't even know how to exit it. That's the most important thing. How do you exit the game? Uh, I think there's no button to exit the game. I may have to, like, just kill the whole, uh... 
No, no, no. All right, hold on. I'm just, I'm just killing DOS box. I'll restart it. <coughs> I don't think I need the CD, but I'll put it on anyway just in case. All right, so that was epic. That game was super epic. Next game is Paperboy 2. Now, this game probably won't be able to control it either without a joystick, but that, it'll be completely my fault. <laughs> you know, he's right now, that Spanish dude said one thing and then left. <laughs> yeah, I agree. This game does suck, and that dude's face was really weird. All right, player one, paper boy or paper girl. Like paper boy, I guess. This looks like the arcade game. I was, by the way, even at the arcade, I was terrible at paper boy. So I'm, I'm going to be terrible at this game, too. That's okay. That doesn't mean the game is bad. That just means I'm terrible at it. All right. Oh, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that me? I guess it's, whoa, whoa. How do, I throw, how do I throw a paper? Control does nothing. Alt does nothing. Space does nothing. Oh, enter. That's terrible controls. I, I, enter's on top of my arrow keys. Ah, uh, all right. How did I? How do I steer to the right? That worked that time. Oh, I can't go up the curb. That's that's the issue. All right, I'm getting the idea here. Pier Boy Two is a good game. On oh, what platform, Ryan? Is it good on DOS? Oh man, which which way is he throwing it? Oh, he only throw it with his right hand, with his left hand. How do I throw it to? Th what the hell? Can I go across this other side of the street? Is there another button to throw the right paper? Hold on, let me look at the instructions here. Maybe there's, maybe there's two buttons to throw the papers, like one to the right and one to the left. These are digital SFX? Yeah, a little bit. Speed up the bike. Okay, throw papers left and throw papers right. Um, player one. <coughs> Move the bike left. It's completely different keys that I'm actually trying to use here. That was pretty good. I threw a paper at him to stop it for a second. All right, hold on a second. All right, there we go. Now at least I understand what's going on here. I already lost the game, I'm sure. I can't get that. <laughs> How come I didn't kill that guy? <laughs> Can I deliver one paper successfully? How come that doesn't kill him? Oh, that actually, that, I actually think I got one paper. Oh, wow, so that papers, the papers deflect the cannonballs. I'm out of papers, though. That's a problem. Oh, man. What's the point of being a paper boy if, like, the boss is going to leave the news... Oh, I got that. If the boss is going to leave the newspapers, like, on the floor anyway... Like, first of all, who would subscribe if you could pick up newspapers on a pile on the floor... And second of all, like, these are all non-subscribers. I'm, 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 I'm giving the paper to non-subscribers. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'll have to start this again and do this properly. I, I think these are subscribers. This guy actually has, like, a, a lit-up house. But what's the point of, like, who would want to, like, you know, order papers if you could just freaking, like, like, pick them up off the floor? And why would... Oh my god. That's how I stopped. <laughs> that was an accident, but, but that was pretty good. Now what? Oh, now it's like the Paperboy Obstacle Course. Let's see how I do with this one. Whoa. Wow, he goes pretty damn high with that with that thing there. Yeehaw! Just a good old boys. Never mean it no harm. It's all you ever saw. Been in trouble with the law since. <laughs> okay. Everyone canceled their subscription except for one guy. Two guys. All right. Well, <laughs> what are you saying here? It's good. Not a dos apparently. This is not terrible. 
I don't know how you're supposed to get both sides of the street, though. Maybe you're not. Uh, I, I mean, I don't see how I can possibly th be, see both sides at the same time. I mean, this is crazy. So I'm on, the, I'm on the right side now? I don't know what the hell's going on. He's not a subscriber, right? So I should check the Smash his window? That didn't work. This guy doesn't look like a subscriber. But I can't... I don't want to kill that sh that spirit guy. <laughs> uh, I thought maybe I could, like, thread the needle in between that, that and the... Look at the... Why are you firing me? Look at that nice pompadour I had. How can they fire me with that pompadour? Let me try one more time. I like the sewer hands. You all float down your paper boy. So Ryan, why does this not look like Paper Boy Two? I, I never played the arcade Paper Boy Two. What 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 did I? Oh, so this was, okay. So the first street, the subscribers are on the right side, and the second street, they're on the left side. Okay, all right. I'm starting to understand this here. Broken pains, puzzle police. What, how's it different than the, than the version you played? It's like a long load time on this thing. All right, here we go. All right, now we're talking. I don't know if that got anything there. He looks like a subscriber. Yay! I actually delivered a paper. Oh man! Oh no! I try to get on the sidewalk. I get. Oh come on! I was trying to get on the sidewalk. So there would be a paper there or something. Oh, the Grim Reaper's gonna kill. Me. I gotta go fast to get past him. Whoa! That was completely an accident. But a, a fortuitous one, apparently. How did I miss that ball of papers? I'm doing much better now. I could get to like this game. All right. Uh, I was trying to I was trying to grab the paper and go up the ramp, but I think I blew it. I think you play the SNES Paper Boy too, and it's completely different. All right, I rocked I rocked that sort of. I was happy I'm happy with my performance on that gas station. Oh, that guy's like robbing the freaking bag. <laughs> I missed him though. <laughs> I tried. He was holding up the gas station. Oh no, no. Whoa, I can't believe I missed that. Did I break his window? Because I tried to. He got two papers. Sorry! Sorry about that! My bad! I didn't mean to break your window! This game was pretty fun. I mean, I think the keyboard is probably the, probably the worst possible way to play it. But it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Oh man, I missed. No, oh! this guy's a castle. That's pretty cool. That's not what I intended to do because I missed the. Uh... I want to hit that guy. I think I'm out of papers. Oh man, but I'm out of papers. All right, come on. This is pretty good. This is probably, I'm sure it gets much, much harder as it goes along because I feel like this is definitely the easy level. Ah, oh, man. I wanted to try to get those papers. All right, I'm thinking about the course now. If I can do the course here, that monster truck. <laughs> and this is really the terrible way to control it, but I'd probably try to play this again with a joystick. I'm sure it's like a million, or a gamepad or something. I'm sure it's a million times more fun. Right now, my hands feel like they're going to like, twist apart. See if I can not hit the water like I did last time. Oh, no, no, no! Oh! Whoa. <laughs> Time's running out, though. I didn't realize the time limit here. Move it! Move it! Yay! Woohoo! I have the best pink pants paper boy alive. My arms are killing me though. Only one, two people cancel their subscriptions. That's a victory for paper boy. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough of that though.
vandalisms at her haunted house. <laughs> that was that was that's not bad, but that's 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 that's, that's more than I want to play right now. This if you've living gargoyles, you don't need a newspaper. That's funny. All right, let's see what else we got here. How do I exit this game? This is, this is a very long load screen, by the way. This is like going at pretty much full speed for DOS box. How do I just exit? There we go. Uh, still play the music. I hit control C. All right, we have to restart this. Let's just start it over. It's probably easier. Oops. All right, what's next? Uh, degeneration. Talking about my degeneration. Hmm. This, this, this worked before. This did work before. Hold on. This definitely worked before. All right, there we go. Do you love this, like, ad-lib synthesizer sound? Finally, it's not Ocean. We got Mindscape for the first time. Actually, it was Paperboy Mindscape also. I think Software Toolworks and Mindscape are the same company. But I'm not sure about that. Matt, do you have a camo monster, monster truck? I don't think you do. Degeneration. Is this like a pun? It's degenerate? Yeah, this is a weird game. It said Giac Biolab Singapore. In Paris, the coal came in. After his to fly the length of Asia or the Himalayas, the reactive deserts of Kazakhstan, where you said Borat, you arrive in Singapore carrying an urgent package for the scientist Derrida. And then you fly in with a rocket pack, apparently. Okay. There's no one to speak with. Like bumping into that... What is that, Tombstone? What's the controls for this one? Uh, use a numeric command to move a space bar to fire the laser. Looks like He looks like he's holding himself like he has to go to the bathroom. Well, the spire of the laser doesn't work. Press T to throw grenades. That does nothing right now. Enter, talk to a survivor. S displays your status. Okay, grenade zero. U, view a display of weapons you could use, if any. With a package to deliver it to this guy, I guess. Uh, okay, how, what else can I do here? Yeah, we log your jetpack. You fly from Finland across the Urals. Deliver a package. You land in the building's 8th floor setback. Find nobody there to greet you. And you enter the building. The main door snaps shut behind you. And you narrowly escape being killed by the building's security system. I don't think that happened yet. You find the receptionist hiding behind her desk. What, what, what are they talking about here? How do I, okay, it's supposed to go through this light blue thing here. Why is it? Okay. Welcome to g -Not. It'd be nice if I could, like, if I had a diagonal key that worked. Instead of walking like a moron. Ah! That's what they were talking about. Okay. You're the courier, right? Yes. By the time you get, I read Dorita spending my ear all day. This whole place is going crazy. I don't know what's in that package. It better be important. What's going on here? Where did someone tell me? I haven't talked to anybody in a couple of hours. It's making sense. I try to telephone the net, the emergency line, they're all dead. Where is Dorita? We're pretty sort of the top floor, but the security system only haven't got a chance of reaching him. <laughs> Ryan's in two walks like he has a load his pants. I think like he's holding himself in the front, too. He looks like he like he has to pee. I need to know how to get there. Who the hell are you supposed to be? You fly in like a rocket pack? Don't even try to get that package to him now. I've heard stories they make up there. Viruses, instant Alzheimer's, things that can mess you up for life. You seem like a nice enough guy. Stay here. 
Can't be too low for some of the outside figures out what's going on. You're not much of a hero, but Dorita, whoever he is, needs the package. There's more people trying there need help. You put any fear beside you decide to push on. Go to find Dorita. It's your life. Do you fear to get me out of here? Oh, is that she's following me? <laughs> One person rescued. Okay. But I don't have a la it said I have a laser, but I don't have a laser. At least I don't know how to use the laser. Oh, okay, that deactivated that. St okay, so when you click on some things, it deact that does something. I wait for a very important package, and the package comes, you must tell me immediately. Torino. <laughs> Cannot wait, every political swim, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I read her email. Where's my laser? Is it, this is L there. What's he doing? He's like... <laughs> he looks like he's alone in his pants. Is that a Christmas tree? Oh, look, it's a Christmas tree! It's the right season! Wasn't there an NES port of this game? I don't know, let's see. Hold on. Let's see, check out the, uh... Old Nintendo Guide to the NES Library. Cheap plug for Pat's book. Uh, I don't think so. Unless it was called something else. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's a Christmas tree, though. I got a, where's my laser? What's this? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I guess that was the wrong thing to do. That thing fried me? Okay. I should probably talk to her again, right? What's with this do, 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 do? So I rescued her. Why does that thing kill me? Alright, that was the smart thing to do. Um, this guy is like really wimpy. For, he, like, he's not, he looks like he, like he flies in like he's a superhero or something. And then he just dies immediately. Oh, I could go when it's not blinking? Is that... Ah, oh, I see. Okay. It's like a... It's like a... Somebody put that there because they don't like people coming in trespassing in their house. So, as long as you don't step on it at the wrong time, you're okay. I guess. Alright, let's get rid of her. Let's read the emails again. Sorry. Okay. Alright. What's this here? This arrow. Level 1 security key required. <coughs> it's like Doom. This game got an HD remake in 2015. Wow. Probably better with a... With a uh, oh, shoot. I thought that guy was going to shoot me. Can he get me over the wall? Apparently not. There's a key over there. Oh, that didn't turn him off. <laughs> no, this is not good. Anybody see me turn him off? Howdy. <laughs> you idiot! I didn't tell you to come follow me! You stupid moron! Oh, that's how you turn it off. Security key level one. Oh, that guy's freaking toast. What did this thing do? Oh, it made that thing go up. So I had to go through her anyway. So I had to go through her to make that pink thing go down. And then that moron started following me. Why do you do that? That wasn't smart. La oh, laser! All right, good. Now I can finally shoot some stuff. Isn't it like a limited usage? Oh, my God. This seems like a very dangerous laser. All right, let's try it. Let's, let's, let's do a little bit more here. If, if I can move the Agnew, it would be nice. Like, oh my god, this obviously was meant to, to not to be done with a keyboard, or at least with the diagonal control. Security door open. What the hell is this? <coughs> Genoc, we're into your genes. Okay, that's it. I guess. 
Oh no. Can I shoot this thing? Oh right, I can shoot this thing. That was good. Okay. This is like a puzzle game. It's not bad either. I, I, I'm sure I never would have played this in a million years if not for the fact that the, the laser's a little bit unreliable. Oh no, what happened? You see that? What was that? The ball turned like invisible or something? Oh. Room secured. I guess after a few times it becomes secured. Now I can go in here. Okay, I couldn't go in here before. Could I? I don't think so. Okay. Huh, that was interesting. The la I used the laser to, to open the barrier. Room secured. This game is not bad. What do you guys think of this? It's interesting. I mean, I think I, would, I don't want to play with a joystick. I think it needs to be... Needs, sorry, I don't want to play with a keyboard. I think it needs a joystick. But other than that, it's interesting. Uh-huh. That was dangerous. All right, I'll do one more screen here. These enemies look like Marble Madness. <laughs> you know, that green thing that turns around looks like they ripped off of Marble Madness. That thing that jumps in the air and, like, tries to eat the ball. Uh, this is interesting. I, I, this is, it's different. I'm not sure if it's the best game ever made, but it's definitely different. Oh, what's that? Whoa, my God. I'm going to die now. Hold on. Damn. So do, where does it start me off? All right, so I, get, I start off right here again. Do I have a limited number of lives? I, I don't know. <sighs> um, I guess I need that key. It's probably level two clearance or something. Alright. Oh, that doesn't really help me, does it? I guess I could try to run through that 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 whatever there, or I could just go around it if I want to be a whip, which I do. And I'll just go this way and pick it up. Security key level two. Alright. Interesting. This looks like a good way to die. It is a good day to die. All right, this seems like enough to, to tr test the game out, but it's it's not bad. I I I think this is this this is not as good as the pushover one, but I've seen it's another game which I've seen a million times. I never bothered to actually try it. And now that I try it, I think it's not bad. I mean, it's seems like a thinking man's uh, you know action game, which are the, those are the type of action games I like. So. I remember seeing this game on the shelf, store shelf back in the day, Matt says, never grab my attention hard enough to pick it up, but this kind of makes you wish I had. Yeah, that's, I remember seeing this game for sure, but it definitely was not, like, enough to get me to pick it up. Same thing. It, like, the box I remember was pretty bland. Um, there's a picture of the box, I think, here. This is the box. No, you know, hold on a second. Yeah, d this is the box. I mean, like, it's, it's like, how bland can you be? Can you see that? Make sure I'm putting it in the frame. Yeah, here we go. Like, it doesn't... This doesn't tell you what the game is about. This is like a failure in marketing. So, based on that, I wouldn't pick it up, but... This is not bad. Alright, let's 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 stop here, though. I may have to consider picking this game up, too. How do I exit? Uh, there we go. I'll continue back to the menu. Alright, so next game is... Contraption Zack, which I think is a similar engine from what I saw the other one. Also Mindscape. Looks like a horror... Yeah, the, the box looks like a horror game. I agree, Ryan. Oh, this sounds terrible. Oh! A pre-sage software development production. 
heard, someone told me this is like an incredible machine type game. <laughs> All these ad lib riffs start to like blend together, don't they? Oh, intro. Zach's first day of the job. It's not Zach McCracken, I don't think. Whoa! This magazine, this Playboy I got in between the manual is really awesome. This is serious. <laughs> oh, okay. Later that morning, Litter was going to say Incredible Machine, don't read my mind, YouTube. <laughs> Later that morning. Oh my god, look at this guy. Look at this guy in the middle. Do you see the new guy? Yeah, he <laughs> he. He don't look too bright if you ask me. What a rube. That guy's supposed to be Scottish? You know what that means? Ah! Yeah, har har. Ha, ah, he'll never make it. What are these people talking about? <laughs> hey, Jennifer, how's it going? <laughs> Car looks like Inspector Gadget. You just missed a really interesting puzzle type game. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Zach, copyright trademark. Hey Jack. Hiya Zach, can I borrow your hammer? Sure. Hey kid, I need your tape. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, I need your wrench. Well, okay, just be sure to bring everything back. These people don't seem like they're very... F what was that? His mom? Supposed to be the boss? Plan number four experiencing major stuff about functions. He's like Charlie Brown's parents. Wah, 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 wah. Yes, sir, Mr. Fly again right away, sir. Look at that look on his face. He looks really happy. It's like... <laughs> I see the Inspector Gadget resemblance, I think. Guys, I need my tools back. You're at your back? Sorry, Zach, I lost your hammer. What's with the Scottish thing? Sorry, kid, I have racquetball. Ooh, yeah, my uncle has it. I think these guys are screwing you over. The audio ad lib makes you, makes you think of the intro of Day of the Tentacle. <laughs> that instead. This sounds right now like Day of the Tentacle. The beginning. I'm the new guy, I get it. We'll just see who comes out on top. It's pretty good uh, intro graphics. All right now the actual game. Max is with the talking scarecrow. What's that game with the same music? Oh, that was Toonstruck. Toonstruck. <laughs> All right, so like I said, similar engine to the other game. How do you control this? I have no tools. Now, let me just let me just look at the manual quickly. Attraction Zach. Do, 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 do. Water Reservoir. There's a list of all these machines here. It seems really complicated. I hope, this is, I hope this is a tutorial mission or something. Oh my god, it's super complicated. Where's the key, command, the key functions? There's no information. It doesn't tell you how to do anything. There's no, like, a reference card with, with any buttons or anything to press. I have to figure it out on my own. All right. You can roll my coffee can and pull your guy out of your thigh. Yeah, right. Can I go here? I can. Uh, was I supposed to do that? I can't leave here now. Uh, okay, I see why this is like the incredible machine. I can't step on this purple thing? I have no tools. So space brings up a tool menu, but I don't have any because those people stole the wall. What the? What can I step on this purple thing? It's too high for me? Wait a second. I'm pressing all these different function keys. Control, Alt, Space. Wait, what's oh, that's that again. I don't think they have a jump button. 
Hold on. Let me let me restart. Like it says, restart. Restart area. Okay, can I do anything with this? Apparently not. I don't know what's why is it here if I can't do anything with it. Let's try this again. Let's do more full motion video, less smart games. I, listen, I didn't put this challenge pack together. So now I went on that one and it flipped me to this thing here. But still, now I can't get on this one. So what's the difference? What am I doing wrong here? He, he must be able to, to stand on that. Like, this one he's able to stand on. Why can't he stand on the other one? Is he a complete moron? Hold on a second. Is there any options to, like, about? That's just... That's it? Clipboard? Let's try restart level. It's probably the same thing, though. <laughs> what the hell? There's, there's no uh, instructions. Toolbox. I have a bunch of tools theoretically, but I don't actually have any of the tools. What? what? Something's weird here. What's this? Wait, hold on. This can't be. Is it possible I just can't do anything? Anybody ever played Contraption Zack before? So I, if this like thing flips me on to one or the other, if I can walk in between them, that would be nice. I can. And then like I'm screwed. I can't go around this. Go between them. Can't go between them. I really can't jump or anything. I'm gonna try pressing every single button on the keyboard here. And we established they stole my tools, so like theoretically, that's that's that that does that. We established they stole my tools. Ah, okay. I can jump. How did I do that? <clears throat> I'm not sure how I... So page up jumps. I don't, I don't know, like, why page up jumps, but that's what it seemed to do. At least it, page up jumped. There's also page down. Page down makes me... Is it, is, it, is it diagonal keys? Is that what it is? Let me try a number lock. Hold on. It may have to be take diagonal keys. Uh, where's my number lock? Uh, number lock, number lock. I don't want number lock. I want arrows. I don't have the arrow key. I don't have a... Well, that seems like the wrong thing to do anyway. I'm not, now I'm trapped in here. All right, so I at least I figured out, like, how to play this. Is a racer on this like Right, you really did full motion video, I see. Let me try this one more time, now that at least I figured out how to jump on something. But, this seems really obtuse. Like, I'm supposed to just do things trial and error and, and figure out, like, what happens when you click on something? Like, how am I supposed to know until I actually do it, what effect, like, a pressure pad is going to have? Right, so I went this way this time. So let me, can I even jump on this? I don't know if I can, even. I'm not sure if I can jump in this direction. Hold on. End. Alright. So, did I go through here now? Like, how am I supposed to know what this does? Alright. Well, that... I think I lost. Can I, can I jump over that? <laughs> No, I can't. 
This game is stupid. You need to go back for the purple? Okay, let me try one more time. But, like, how am I supposed to know that? I don't like trial and error. That seems really bad. My keys are, like, all over the place here. Wait, which... Come on. I mean, go back for the purple. The purple's already pressed down at this point. I could go, like, another step. Now I... Oh, okay. Actually, there is some logic to this. The colors control which would move. So, like, theoretically, the blue one should make the blue stuff go down. All right. There's actually some logic here. <laughs> when you say troll really works, you just look at age time. All right, that actually, all right, that makes sense. So like, they're color coded. I, I don't know how I didn't figure that out before. When I said the manual gave me some information. Okay. This is like Star Trek Enterprise. The doors like open and close randomly. Okay, can I get out now? I guess I just wait for it to cycle. Okay, I want my screwdriver, so let's go let's do this. If I can actually jump on it. I'm like blocking the door here. Come on, go. That's my screwdriver, I guess. Oh, the yellow thing came back up? Oh, that's annoying. Get out, of, get out! Oh my god. Why can't you go out the door? And I went out. They all want to pop back up again before I can get out of there? Oh. Oh. All right, let's do this again. Hold on. Let's wait. Let's, let's... Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me get out of here. This game is... Come on, move it. Oh, my... Oh! The controls suck. <laughs> it's, it's not really the game's fault. It's my fault because I don't have a proper keyboard. But, like, this is not fun. It's, I, now I know what to do, and I still can't do it. Let's try, okay, I think... Let me try this one more time. No, 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 walk this way. Walk this way. Walk this way. Walk this way. What are you doing? do 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 can you get out the door this time? Can you get in the door this time? Okay, there you go. It's amazing. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Zach. Yay! Go, go, go! 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 Go, 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 go! Oh, no, he's stuck. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, this game sucks. <laughs> All right, this, this is just too much... There's, there's, like, promise here, but there's too much fighting against the interface. And, and like, this it's too... Fr if they started this game, it's so frustrating. I don't know. I, I Maybe I have to give it some more time, but right now I just feel like... You got him a single door. Gaming history is made. Yeah, basically. All right, this is this is. I'm done with this one. It's it looked promising, but like the difficulty curve is very poor. All right, let's try the Chess Master 2100. I won't spend too much time on this. It's a chess game after all. I, mean, I spent the whole stream on that the other day, but uh, that's for a separate thing. Let's just check out the game.
Ooh, the Fidelity Chess Master Trade 100. It was like Fidelity. Okay. Can I use like actually a mouse? That's oh, that's cool. It actually works with a mouse. All right. This is not bad. I, I'm one of the same problem I had with the other game where I was like, you know, uh, moving pieces by accident. I think I had this for Vic 20. I doubt you had this exact one for Vic 20. Uh, I always forget this is the queen. So I move the horse over here, I'll just get it taken. Okay, cool. That was a good move. Sort of. Not a really... That's okay move. It's pretty good. Uh... See, if this was a real game, I'd probably be very, like, <laughs> that's the speed chess time. I'd probably be very aggressive, but, I'm, but like, because I'm, I'm, but I would lose because, like, I'm playing against, like, a, you know, a, a, a tough opponent. This is not, like, a, a game you can mess around with pretty easily. So if I take the pawn, he take, you know, I basically have taken with the pawn. That's not really what I want to do. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. That's a good move. Good move, respectable move. That was an amazing move, but it's good enough. Do 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 do. What are you saying here? Take the pawn. E5 to D5. C5 to D5. No. <laughs> What's with the no? I know what you're trying to say. I was thinking of taking the bishop like this. And it'll take me with this pawn. Take it with this pawn, obviously, but it may not be so terrible. I don't know, whatever. I'm not playing I'm not playing this game now. Uh alright, that's enough of this. I I don't need to play this I don't need to play chess right now, but uh, you know, this is this is this is like a good chess game. I don't know if there's any like options to, to tune the difficulty or what, but it seems like a like a decent game. I can see myself playing this and having some fun. You know what? I'll be I'll do this. Nah, it's not worth it. It's not it's not even worth it to play this anymore. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop here, quit while I'm behind, and just uh, just let it go. Uh, I'll turn this off. I need to quit this. This is not, not a bad game, though. All right, let's, this looks like fun. I can definitely play this some other time, but we're not going to do it now. All right, Chess Master 2100. Let's try Mind and Magic 2 now. It does, it's not going to work from here. It's not of memory, but there's a, there's, I already have to let load fix, and then it'll work. So, CD MM2. Wait, where is it? CD, CD Games, MM2, load fix. There we go. 
That might also solve the other problem with the F-29 Retaliator. That's nice graphics. Mighty Magic Book 2. I think this game was like from 1988 or something like that. 1989. It's a unicorn or it's a, it's a pegasus or something. It's a guy hiding by the bushes. Alright, so um, I'm not going to try to create a character or anything like that. Let's just start the game, I think, with the default characters. So let's go to town. View all characters. I don't want to view them, actually. I want to go to, go to town. Alright, so these are my characters, the guys that are checked over here. <coughs> Z to exit. Just to get a sense of what the game is like. So it's like a... I never played Mind of Magic 2 or even 1. I'm in the inn right now. So if I walk outside, it's like a third... This is the beginning of the game, I guess. The spirit of Korak proclaims, Fantastic adventure awaits you. Challenging quests about and battles duel must be fought. Do the might to emerge victorious? I surely do not. Only time will tell. So... Yeah, this is the type of game you need to play for, like, hours and hours and days and days. But I'm inside the, t the town, and here's signs showing the different things. The blacksmith. I guess this is, like, the, the food place. Do you wish to order for a vast menu of drinks? Sure. <laughs> Feeding frenzy, all you can carry. Have a drink. Let's listen for rumors. Children at 0, 15. All right, whatever. Let's leave. So... Basically, you know, it's one of these games where you wander around and then you have, like, encounters. And actually, the first time I played this, I encountered some people in the town that fought me. Let's see if... Lock and key, limited. Track and trail. I'm sure if you had the actual game, there's actually some some real... For only 20 gold, I can rule you the local mage guild. Buy in? No. If, if I, um... If I had the, actual, the real game, it probably comes with a map or something. I don't know. I don't map her. Pay 10 gold for this skill? Yes. Who learned this skill? I don't know. Sir Felgar. So how do I use the map? It's like the map, but there's no actual map here. You almost played Mind Magic 10. I heard Mind Magic 10 is great, but I don't. I never played it, Matt. I'm just trying to see if I can get into an encounter or something. Or at least like find the exit to the town. <clears throat> get out of here. Oh, here, encounter. See, what are these guys doing in the town? It's like vampire bats or something. I'm just going to attack. I'll probably get killed, but... Cause I don't know if I even... I don't know if I'm even, like, have, like, my, uh... So Cassandra can't do anything because she's in the back. So I have to block. Attack. Oh, I killed this bloodsucker. I guess the bloodsuckers are weak. Alright, so I killed these guys. Yay! I mean, I don't even know... Okay. Fool you, no farthing to flick. Oh my god. Phantasm? Alright, this I'm sure is going to kill me. Let's, let's just do it. <laughs> Attack... They all got their turn first. Attack. If I see I'm... Hermit can't do anything. Block. Attack. Oh, you get the idea. My, my, my Gene Eric is already dead. This is what I imagine Ark sort of look like. <laughs> A lot of phantasms, yeah. I'm not going to play this now. This is like... You need to sit and play for, for 200 years here, which I'm not going to do. I mean, actually, just, I'll be dead in a second, so let me just keep on... I actually killed a phantasm. But I'm not going to kill all of them. Sir Felgar is down. Sir Vala is down. So, like, I don't understand what kind of town this is, where they have, like, go like giant heads with horns floating around in the middle of the town. Like, isn't there, like, a town guard or something? Uh, no way I'm going to survive this. <laughs> run away! What's the difference? Run away! Run away! Okay, you're not successful. 
Escaped, exited DOS. All right, let me try that. Let me try that one more game one more time. The one that didn't work. F twenty nine Retaliator. What was it? Uh, D I R F Star. What was it called? Retail. Nope, no dice on that. There's <coughs> New Jersey, mostly Italians and floating heads. Uh, there's a lot of Italians, but floating heads I've never seen. Maze of the Town of Castlevania 2, where all the monsters come out at night. Yeah, maybe. But listen, Castlevania 2, it's like, you know, and there was like some nice music, too. Do 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 do. Was that Castlevania too? Do 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 do. All right, the F twenty nine Retaliator doesn't work. Um, that's that's the nine games. So of the nine games here, I would say that from what I saw, what a terrible night for a curse. Yeah, this pushover is a good game, and maybe I'll play it one more. I wonder if I if I if I turn it on again, will it continue the progress? Let's see. Uh, what was it called? Uh, push. Or if I had to write it down. Because if I had to write it down, that would sort of suck. Mm -hmm. so, the really interesting thing about the crisps. Yeah, pushover was the best. So, pushover was for sure the best. Pushover was a good game. I would say this is worth it for this game. The degeneration I enjoyed also was not as good as Pushover, but it was pretty good. Um, this one didn't work. Paperboy 2 was fine. Nothing wrong with Paperboy 2. I wouldn't like buy this for Paperboy 2, but it was okay. Mighty Magic 2, I'm sure, is really good, but it's not for this stream. Epic and Robocop 3D, they really sucked, in my opinion. They were impossible to control. Contraption Zack, probably like... I mean, like, it has a really good idea, a good premise, but it doesn't really... <laughs> Ryan says, Robocop 3, 100% best. Contraption Zack, like, it was just too damn hard to control. Maybe if it was... I don't know. All right, so I guess I gotta start in the beginning, it looks like. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't write down the code. But, yeah, this game is good. I would, I would buy this game, and I would consider buying Degeneration... I already have Mind of Magic 2. The rest, and I have, pa do I have Paperboy 2? I'm not sure. These other games, Epic and Robocop 3D, they can go like, go screw themselves for all I care. F29 Retaliator, I bet you it was crap also. <laughs> Couldn't even get it to run, I bet you'd sucked. But Pushover's a good game, this is good. So maybe I'll play for five more minutes, and then we'll, end, we'll, we'll put this back where it was, see if I can get to, I already, I already lost, I have to, let me do this again. Replay puzzle. We'll do this for a couple of minutes, because we all enjoyed it. And it was like the first game we played, too. Wasn't it? Woohoo! I may have Paperboy 2 for DOS, I'm not sure. Alright, I was able to skip that. Good, okay. This one was just take this and take this thing and move it out of the way. Skip this this cutscene in the middle here, which is good. Now this one here was take the this out of the way and put this piece at the end, and then put this one back over here. This is oh, this is the second game I played. Robocop was was pretty bad. I wonder if I like jump in now and get like get in the way of it. I don't want to take any chances. Okay, that's that. And this one was the I forget what this one was. Oh, this is the one that goes up. Oh no no.
That was a robot. You drive through walls. Yeah, I can drive through the walls except for the, uh, the what's it called? The, <laughs> the, the what killed me was the, uh, the, the fence. Which is the bridge one? Okay, that with the stripe here. Now, did I do this one? I don't think I did this one. This is the first one I didn't do. This looks a little bit tough, too. What is that uh, thing piece there? That's uh, a splitter. I don't think we had a splitter yet. I guess I put it here. I'm assuming. Let's try and see what happens. I don't know. Other way. Cute. Move it, move it, move it! What are you doing? Don't stop to pump your fist! Ah, you idiot. Look, he stopped to pump his fist, you saw that? <sighs> Moron. It's like you celebrate too early in sports. Come on, get in there. What's next? What's that one? The problem is all these these look too similar. Like it looks like it reminds you of gum or something, but they look too similar. An exploder? Exploder. Okay. I don't know what this is gonna do. I can't put it down. I can't put it down over here. I feel like that was gonna kill me. You failed, you died. Uh, I think pushing it this way is not gonna work. But I'll try it anyway, just for the hell of it. I just it blew up the floor. Okay, that's interesting. Well, that, that wasn't right, but you only have one push every time. Interesting. Maybe like this? That's pretty cool. Get down there. I'm surprised that the door opens, the tumbler down was in front of the door. Yeah, the time limit is pretty tight. You have to basically know exactly what you're doing. And it gets harder and harder, I'm sure, as it goes along. Oh, man. Well, this thing got a little more time now. Ryan, have a good night. I'm thinking we're almost done anyway, but have a good night. Thanks for joining us. There we go. Alright, you're you're alive, it's nice. This is a fun game. I I, I, I don't know how like me get boring after some time, but I think this is a good game. This is definitely the best in the in the bunch. But uh, that's, I think, what I accomplished, which was play the CD-ROM challenge pack. It's been almost two hours. I'm going to call it here. Thanks, Matt, and thanks, Ryan, for hanging out. And thanks, Jennifer, for being here for a little bit. And uh, who else was here? Jeremy. Sorry, Jeremy. <laughs> Another Robocop, you drive through walls. Um, yeah, again, I think this game is the best one. This uh, pushover, it's called. And, you know, some of them are okay. Paperboy, Chessmaster are fine. Degeneration seems pretty good. Contraption Zack is a nice try. Might and Magic Tomb sure is good. And the Epic and Robocop are terrible, and F-29 didn't work. So is it worth 300 bucks? Eh, you know, maybe it was back in the day. I don't know. It's hard to say no, but not bad. Not bad. Pushover is what I recommend, so check that one out. 
Have a good night, everybody. If you're watching this after the fact, please give this thing a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, so you can see an extra time I do this. And have a great night, everybody. Talk to you all soon.